pumpkin saffron carbonara. We're going to take oh, these adorable little baby butternut pumpkins. You can use any pumpkin. You can cut up a sugar pumpkin. You can use a, a big butternut and cut it into quarters. Are pumpkin We're, and squash the same or very just This is similar. orange squash and it is the same. same. This is okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. So we're using an orange flesh squash of any variety and it's salt, pepper, and nutmeg on this and a little spray or brush or drizzle of olive oil. And we roast them until they're tender split side down. And then we're gonna put a couple of cups of the pumpkin into our food processor. And then I'm going to take, basically we made saffron tea. Mm -hmm. You take some saffron in bone broth or vegetable stock, and you add it to this. That is a good and I'm going to reserve a little bit of that saffron liquid to temper the eggs. Normally when you make carbonara, we use just the salted, starchy cooking water from the pasta itself. This is a very quick cooking dish, actually, speaking of that. I think I'm gonna drop the pasta now. Whenever we cook pasta, especially dry pasta, we really liberally salt the water, more than you think you need. The water itself is usually the, an ingredient that's used in Italian cooking to emulsify sauce and pasta together. Regardless, it is the only chance you get to flavor the pasta itself, mm. the product that you're cooking. So we wait until the water's rolling boil, salted. So now we just let that puree. It smells so great because of the saffron. I let it waft over there. So we've got this ready. So we're going to add now to the, the equivalent of bacon for us. You use guanciale, which is a pork cheek or pancetta, which is what we have in the pan, a nice meaty piece of pork, finely chopped. You can make this a vegetarian preparation. It is delicious, and that's fine. I mean, there is egg in this, though. So you can make it just with pumpkin puree if you want to be sans egg. Uh, but my husband's favorite four-letter word is pork, which is why this is his favorite yeah. dish. So I'm so with there's, John on that. Yep, yeah, so there's a lot of... I always add an extra couple of ounces uh, versus what I write in the recipes for anything that has guanciale or pancetta in it because John just comes over and picks it out of the pan with a spoon or a fork while I'm cooking. So I have to bump up the amounts uh, for our house. And I'm grating in a little garlic. The reason we wait to do this is to render. We wanna render out the flavor from the pork into olive oil first. And then we want that to calm down that and smells so over good, low Rachel. heat, you add the garlic so we don't singe the garlic. Ooh, it smells good. And you go two turns of the pan with a little bit of wine. Mm, now this yeah. would be delicious even without that, it's just the alcohol burning off. Another thing I did was when I roast the squash, I, I reserved a little bit of it and diced it. This is for texture when you serve. So we have a little bit of the squash that's diced that we did in puree, just to mix in, give it a little more texture, a little more, mm. Mm -hmm. hello, mm -hmm. look at me. Okay, this is exciting. We have the starchy cooking water that you would temper your eggs with, that's these guys, egg yolks. Three egg yolks per pound of pasta. That's what makes the carbonara carbonara. The reason we have to temper it is so that the eggs won't scramble, right? I added the hot stock with the saffron, and that's how we temper. You slowly pour it into the egg yolks mm -hmm. to raise the temperature, so this is now going to be saucy, a little saucy, and thicken slowly instead of turning into scrambled eggs. So we add our hot but undercooked pasta, right, to this beautiful hot mess that we've got going here. Okay. And then we add that delicious golden saffron sauce. And then we add the cheese. Parmigiano and pecorino, sheep's milk and cow's milk. And then yeah. we add the pumpkin puree. I know! <laughs> and then we add a little of that diced pumpkin for our texture. And we this is what we're doing now. We're just... Stirring, 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 and tossing, tossing, tossing. It's pretty. It's just so pretty. So a little bit of parsley, and the last and it's so of our pumpkin on top. Pretty. 